Raju, the document work done for these codes will be out of sync by the time this project is over. And nobody can understand the code logic because they were not updated when someone did the changes. I agree that the documentation helps in understanding the code at a high level, but nobody can make any sense out of it unless the coder puts some comments in the codes. And that's you. Hey, hey, hey. What if somebody is not good at writing comments? You know, I'm not good at all this. Have you forgotten the reconciliation system you had to work on when you had initially started the project? How much you had cursed Rajesh for not updating the code comments. Oh, that guy Rajesh. If at all I ever find him in my life. The codes and the comments were not syncing during the implementation phase. And by that time he had joined some MNC somewhere and probably ruining somebody else's life. And now you are also all set to ruin somebody else's life. I know Sanjay, but you know this software is bound to go for maintenance after we release it into market. We make modifications to it. And we also have bug fixes. We have uh, new implementation. Should I look into the new work or should I write comments? Or kuch kaam nahi hai, kya? Do you know 85% of the time, the developer forgets to edit the comments after editing the code. This may be due to lack of time. Apna project manager has to say, no? that the complexity of a software is directly proportional to the number of developers who are working on it. Is it true? Yes, it's true. I have seen cases when there is no common understanding between the developers. Together they may be able to build a good product, but the mentality is that the code is already a legacy and when nobody has written a code comment, why should I bother to do it? So, it's true, right? Because the codes and comments are not actually executed by the computer. Then why bother writing the comments? Wouldn't it be nice if the compilers themselves wrote the comments instead of the developer? Maybe it could be a feature announcement for the compiler? Two developers would have been at peace if the compilers they themselves automatically wrote these comments. I don't Well, there's a software for that. And I have it. Really? Where is it? It's here. <laughs> Coffee? Ha! Huh. So, what was I saying? There are four steps. If you follow them, that will help you during the implementation phase of SDLC. Point number one. Impose rules to add code review checklist and that the comments are well written. Point number two, have a habit of writing the comments even before the codes. Point number three, encourage the developers not to write obvious comments like um, loop through array or loading a file. And point number four, make it mandatory to write the why part of the comment. This is mostly missing. And if the software code doesn't have it, then neither the code nor the comments will be of any help. Coffee is good. And yes, code commenting is good. Now I know the reasons for code commenting. Yeah, obviously, if our software doesn't have good quality of code commenting, then a practice to just improve the quality of code comments need to be taken care of. And probably if we have good quality of code comments, we can reuse the codes in building new softwares at a much faster pace. Hmm, I think we are right. We should start encouraging the practice of writing code comments among other developers too. <laughs>